We got us a Walking Liberty Ender. My first find since I come over to bottom feed with Scott. Looks like we got us a big old dandy button. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Got us a Benji. Thinking we got some silver here. Oh no, it's not. We have us a walker. We got us a cat bust. I can't make out a year or anything yet. That is awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio and we are back for episode number 17 of the Penny Hunt and Fill series. Got our albums here in front of us. Got a box of pennies here fresh from the bank. I did pop it open. They are circulated, which is exactly what we're after. So we're going to go ahead and get into these. I'm not going to get into the albums this time. I will get into them at the end. Um, for those of you who have been following along, you do know where we're at. Those of you who have, who have not been following along, I will have a link up above if you'd like to catch up on the first 16 episodes. Uh, go ahead and click that link and get caught up. So we're going to get into these. I will bring you back in on the first find. Rule number five, and we have our first wheat penny of the hunt. We have a 1948 out of Philly. We'll take it. One on the board to start. Rule 19. Finally, we have wheat penny number two. This has been kind of a tough box. A lot of kind of dirty, ugly look coins in this box. Uh, I have several of the coppers. I'll try to pull a few aside. Look like they're probably metal detecting vines that have been tumbled, tumbled to try to clean them up a little bit. Um, but just plain ugly. So anyway, here's wheat penny number two. Probably a 50s. And it is 1958 out of Philly. Roll 25. And under the scope, we have a 1998. And if we slide this up to America, we have us a 1998 wide AM. It's been a while since I find one, found one of these. So very, very happy to have that. First variety of this box. First variety in a while on any boxes. So... Uh, not in the greatest shape. It is a little discolor. Does still have some red to it, but we're definitely going to take it. You don't find these that often. We will see you on the next find. Rule 26. Finally, a wheat penny number three. It's been a tough box. Other than that variety and a couple wheaties. 1958. Out of Denver. Number three of the hunt. Rule 32, and we have wheat penny number four. I see peeking out right here. And we have a 56D. Rule 38, and another wheat penny peeking out here will be number five of the hunt. And we have another 58D. Number three of the hunt. Roll 42. And we have Wheat Penny, number six. Finally get one from the 40s. We have a 1945 out of Denver. All right. 50 rolls hunted. Box one is done. Ended up with six Wheat Pennies. We're definitely going to have to get into another box. Try to have 10 minimum for a video. So we got some possible album upgraders here across the top. Our 1998 white AM, three Canadians, some 09s, and that's it. That's all there is for this box. So we're going to go ahead. I'll grab another one off the shelf here. Hopefully it's a good one. Be back with the next box. All right, we are back with box two. Uh, I did forget to mention the Copper Cup for the first one. We did real well, well over three quarters. So hopefully the next one will be as good. I did pop this open. I checked it. We do have circulated pennies. Didn't see anything great on the top 10 rows, but we'll go ahead, get into these, and see what we find. Roll one, box two. We're off to a quick start. Got us our first 40s in this box. This will be number seven of the hunt. And we have us a 1944 out of Philly. Roll three. We have wheat penny number two with the box. Let's see peeking out right here. And number eight of the hunt. And it is a 1958 out of Denver. 
roll five, and we have wheat penny number three and number nine of the hunt, and it is a 1951 out of Denver. Roll seven, wheat penny number four of the box, and it will be number 10 of the hunt, and we have Another 1940 out of Philly. Roll 13. And again, in this box underneath the scope, we have a 1998 out of Philly. And we have another white AM. Two boxes, 298 white AMs. So I'll take it. That's awesome. We'll put it right up here with the other one. And we'll see you on the next find. Roll 16, and we have Wheat Penny, the number five of this box. No, number, yeah, five of this box. Um, 11 overall. Sorry, I'm a little caught off guard. This one's a little beat up, but I believe she is going to be an oldie. The back is just wore right out. So what do we have? We have a 1918S. Man, that is awesome. But that is a shame. And edges of that are just cut up. The back looks even worse. But it is one that I'm pretty sure we don't have. So we'll be hanging on to that. We will see you on the next find. Rule 19. We have wheat penny number 12. Peeking out here, it is number six of this box, number 12 of the hunt, and maybe a little older. And we have another 1944. I believe that is a D. No, no, it's not. It is a 46S. I was wrong all the way around. Well, that's good. S mint mark, I'll take that. Not sure that we have a 46S, so that will be awesome if we can add that to the book. See you on the next find. Same roll, we have wheat penny number 13. And it is number 7 of this hunt, and we have a 1944 out of Denver. Apologize, my camera is not being real cooperative tonight, so see you on the next one. Rule 20, wheat penny number 14, number 8 of this box, been a good one so far, and we have a 1949 out of Philly. Rule 22, and we have wheat penny number 15, number 9 of this box, and we have a 1946 out of Philly. Roll 23, and Wheat Penny number 16. Let's see what we have here. This one looks a little bit older, judging by the back. And that is, is that another Teens? It is. A 1918 out of Philly. And then we had a 1918S. Two teens in this box. Man, this has been an awesome one. All right. Be back with the next find. Rule 31. And we have wheat penny number 17. Number 11 in this box. Box 2. And this one will be a 1937 out of Philly. Not sure if we have that one. We will find out soon. Rule 32. And... First Canadian I brought you in for it is actually our fourth one, but this one is a young head, and it is a 1964. Rule 24, we have wheat penny number 18 of this box, or number 18 of the hunt, number 12 of this box. See that peeking out back here, and we have 1954 out of Denver. Rule 43. Wheat Penny number 19 of the hunt, number 13 of this box, and we have a 1939 out of Philly. Roll 50, and we have Wheat Penny number 20. 
Number 14 of this box, number 20 of the hunt. We have a 1955 out of Denver. All right, we have box 200, 100 roll hunt. And it was really good. The first box was pretty tough. Second one was great. So we killed the copper. We filled the cup the rest of the way from the first box. We got a pile here alongside. So we did real, real well on that. Uh, we have our six Canadians here. We did have one that was a uh, young head, which was a 1964 did get a few 09s here uh, nothing that's probably going to be upgrade uh, what we currently have and 659s almost made it I do check them for a wheat scent back I just pull them out as I go and we got two 1998 wide AMs in that box that was awesome great find uh, possible album upgraders or additions here along the top and we got our 20 wheat scents the earliest being a 1918 Philly and a 1918 S. So we're going to go ahead, break the albums out, see what we have we can add. I'll be back with the first album. All right, we have book number one in front of us, our 1909 through 1940. We will have no addition, or one edition and no upgrades. We're going to have one edition, no upgrades. It's in rough shape, but this 1918 S is one we do not have so we're going to go ahead pop that one in hopefully we can find a better one down the road but happy to have another spot filled so that puts us at 19 spots filled in elbow number one let's go ahead get into elbow number two all right we're back with book two our 1941 through our 1974 and we're going to have one upgrade we're going to upgrade this 1945d we're going to have an addition of a 1946S, and we'll be adding a 1958, which is obviously quite a bit lower mintage than the 58D um, by about 550 million. So this one's a little harder to find. So let's go ahead and get these two additions plugged in. I will get this upgrade swapped out, and we will get into book three. And we are back with book three, our 1975 through 2013. And this book is getting pretty tough to do any upgrades in. We just have a few spots open, mostly all d -Met marks, which I don't see as much. But we will fill our last spot on this page. It's a 1982 large date zinc scent. We did pull a real nice one. Go ahead, get that added. That will put us at 82 spots in this book. I will be right back with the totals. All right, totaled up the three albums, and now we currently stand at 173 out of 265 spots. So we're closing in on that 200 mark ever so slowly, but making progress every hunt. So another great hunt. Appreciate everybody coming along. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next hunt.